impediments to being able to do the right hand rule. The first one is finding your right hand. So please hold up your right hand. Thank you, Sam. You gotta find the right hand. Okay, first step is to find the right hand. Okay, you can put your hands down. The second major impediment to doing the right hand rule is that some of you are too cool for the right hand rule. I don't know how it happens, but you have this idea that nothing is cooler than not moving your shoulders or your body when doing the right hand rule. Please observe. Do you see how cool I am? Yes, yes, this is, this is how cool I am, see? What you have to be able to do is you have to limber up. So please, take a moment, kind of stretch a little bit, limber up, limber. Wheatley, you gotta move the body around. You gotta be able to move the body around the right hand rule, okay? So please, thank you, Connor. All right, good, okay, here we go. Using the right hand rule, this object is spinning like this. Please take your right hand, and curl your fingers in the direction that it is rotated. So you're going to take your fingers and you're going to curl them like this. No matter where you are standing, everyone is curling their fingers this way, and the thumb is... Your thumb is pointed left. Everyone's thumb is pointed in the negative x direction. Let's try another one. Now, everyone's thumb is pointed, that's your left hand, just. Everyone's thumb is now pointed to your right in the positive x direction. Let's do another one. Wait. Uh, Wait, which way is that uh, uh, Rotating this way. So now, everyone's thumb is pointed upward, no matter where you are. This is in the positive y direction. Uh -huh. This one is going down. Don't worry, I have two more. It's rotating this way, right? So your fingers are going to rotate this way. And your thumb is going to point toward you. And the last one, see, there you go. Just rotate your body, there you go. So now it's pointed forward. This is the direction of the right hand rule. Now, the most confusing part about the direction for the right hand rule is this, that the direction of the angular velocity is normal to the plane in which the object is spinning. I'll walk my way through that. Again, we have this, please use the right hand rule. This object is spinning, it is rotating to your right. But the plane in which the object is rotating is right here. But notice that that direction is normal to that plane, or 90 degrees to that plane. And that is the direction of the rotational motion by definition. Now I do have, want to make sure that you understand that the right hand rule describes the, the direction of specifically, the right hand rule describes the direction of the angular displacement and the angular velocity. The right hand rule describes the direction of the angular displacement and the angular velocity.